or live. Live. Good morning. Here we are at Always the Stitches again, and it's cooled off outside. I'm so excited because I got my cozy vest on, I got my long sweater, and it's cooling down, which for quilters is kind of a fun time because it means we get to work with lots of fun fabrics. But what I wanted to start with this morning was our 30s prints. <clears throat> so we get 30s prints in all the time. We just got several in new, and we keep them typically over here in our novelty section with our flannel and our novelty pieces because um, they just make the best little baby quilts. And we all know um, since COVID happened, there seems to be a lot of more babies being born. I'm not sure what that means, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> when we brought the 30s prints in the other day, one of our staff members brought in this real honest to goodness for reals feed sack. And I just want you to look <laughs> how it blends with the line. It's like these two could almost be the same. And this is, this is actually a feed sack weight fabric and it's a feed sack. So it was kind of fun for us to kind of talk nostalgically at our staff meeting about how creative and how crafty quilters were from the very beginning. They started using feed sacks that were basically just a cotton fabric, cotton weight fabric, and the feed sack companies figured out, oh, if we print fun fabric designs on them, since they're using them, then the ladies will request that they buy that feed in that particular sack because of the fabric. My mother even said she could remember um, when she was a kid, she had a pair of pajamas made out of a feed sack, and she said they were her favorite because they were the softest. So, you know, quilters are always creative and crafty and um, resourceful. We were the original reuse, re upcycle, recycle group. So, anyway, I just want to tell you a little bit about that and then talk a little bit about our department here that we have that we we kind of call it the kids area but in this area you're going to find your novelty prints um for like the kids kind of stuff so a lot of these things although they're not exclusively children's fabrics they lean more towards the novelty idea for instance these mermaids this is one of my favorite lines mermaids with norwals which you know look it up if you don't know what a norwal is but um and then we, we have a whole fish thing going on here. Here's This leans a little more boyish. It looks kind of like the ocean as far as deep sea fishing and lighthouses and anchors and things like that. Um, this is where you're also going to find like our cats and our dogs and our bunnies. Fluffy little clouds. Um, down here we've got some space and numbers. We've got space and, oh, well, this is great. This is even be great for a teacher for a billboard billboard no I don't call them billboards what are they <laughs> is it a billboard project board project I board don't I don't know poster boards anyway that's it poster board they have stuff in their room this is, or even like a poster science board. fair project if you work on a science fair project this would be great for that to cover that board with so this is our novelty stuff and of course we have to have the colleges so we've got IU Butler Purdue I apologize to any other college not represented, but in Indiana, you know, that's kind of the ones we can get. <clears throat> a lot of them are licensed, and so it's kind of hard to get a hold of those sometimes. But gosh, what fun. Um, Since we're on 30s, can we take a segue? We have a new yeah. collection that came in <laughs> um, that we can talk about for a minute. Yeah, this is the one that set off the idea of the new ones right here. Uh -huh. Looky here. I love it. Look at those lavenders in that. Lavender is a hard color. Purples are hard to find sometimes. Oh, look at the teacups. I didn't see the teacups. Oh, I didn't see the teacups Are they the teacups? First time. Are those teacups? Maybe. I don't know. Sort of, kind of. They look like teacups to me. They look like teacups to me. Call it what you want. Oh, one, one, one fat, fat roll fat left. Rolls. You know why there's only one fat roll left? Because most of our staff bought the others. So let me tell you about fat rolls. Fat rolls. Okay, so a fat quarter um, is not a body part. And you can't put Fat Quarter now on Facebook because they edit it. It's like considered a... Hate. <laughs> yeah, it's considered like hate or something. You can't put it on there because they oh, take it. But anyway, God. so we have Fat Rolls because Fat Rolls are body parts and we're kind of partial to them. So what we do when a line comes in is we cut two yards off of the entire line, okay, the entire line, and we make a Fat Roll. So this contains a fat quarter from everything that came in this line, and it's priced at the per yard price. Now, normally our fat quarters are $3.99 a piece, but our per yard fabric, this is $13.99. So, you know, 
$3.99 for four would be $16 basically for a yard. This fat quarter bundle you're getting at the per yard price. So you're paying $13.99 a yard for these. So these fat quarter bundles go fast. And we only cut four from each line. Once those are gone, then you're going to buy the regular fat quarter at $3.99 a piece. So these are a great deal. Um, fat rolls are the way to go if you can. But isn't that just fun? I love the 30s stuff. It's just fun to work with. <clears throat> the colorway is so charming. We've got the solids to go with it, too, which is kind of I hard to find. Yeah. They don't make solids to match no. with 30s, usually. People come in, and they'll have Grandma's quilt, and they want to patch a little part in it. And it's oh, like, that's right. What do I do? I'll give you another solution if you can't find the fabric. You can also buy the fabric that you can print on. And you can print the color that you want on just a square of fabric. We've done that before. Or if you have a little portion of a quilt that you need to patch, you can print that fabric on the printable fabric on your computer. And then you have the piece to match that piece of fabric. Nice. It's kind of a trick to do. Nice. Yeah, it's a fun trick. Okay, so let's go back over here because the other thing I want to talk about are flannels. Flannels are just yummy. Um, and we have a nice wide selection of flannels. <clears throat> Lots of different colors. I think this is the time of year we start making those rag quilts. We did a little video about that. Um, we have some gorgeous flannels that really make beautiful scarves. Um, let me see if there's a... Yeah, right behind you, Peter. I'm going to... I haven't walked back I don't those. want you to fall over now. Okay, so look at this scarf. This is made out of flannel. And look how fun that is. It's just a closed loop scarf. And it's just, you know, oh my gosh, it kind of matches what I got on today. It does match. You're going to have to wear that I'm today. I'm going to have to put it on today. Okay, wait, if I can get it, get it open, the little tricky open it up thing here. Okay, <clears throat> so this is really just basically two pieces of flannel. And see, they're contrasting and they've twisted it so it's actually an infinity scarf. And it just goes on like the, oh, the okay, I'm, I'm the mini pearl. You know, Do you know who mini pearl is if I say mini pearl? She used to wear a hat with a price tag hanging off of it. Minnie Pearl, she, hey y'all, she's Minnie Pearl. Look her up too if you don't know who that is. So anyway, here's your scarf. How fun is that? Ta-da! Super simple, super easy. Um, this scarf we've had for ages. You can put a little lace like at the seam, which is really kind of cute to dress it up a little bit. These are a great Christmas present. So, you know, if you're looking to make something for somebody for Christmas, come pick out a couple flannels that you like and make a scarf for them. Because these are great undercoats. Um, they're really nice and warm. Look at all the, co oh, here's camo. Now, how many people would want a camo? Like, for your military people? That'd be fun. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. Tie-dye. Ooh, my daughter I likes tie-dye. love that pink and blue. Yeah, this one down here. My favorite. This one's cute. Look at those two together. How fun would that be? Or even those two together. So that's fun. We've got lots of flannels. And then there's your flowerly, you know, kind of person. And then these are more babyish. So... We keep those going too. And then one more thing with Purdue. I don't have this for IU, my apologies. But we do have this Purdue panel. Again, great Christmas gift because it's super, super simple. Just put a binding around it and give it to somebody to hang on their wall in their classroom um, or in their um, dorm. If I had a, you know, student in college looking for a dorm. <clears throat> and then here we have our double gauze. So these are double gauze and knits. Again, for kids, sometimes you're going to be using those kind of fabrics so that you can um, make garments for kids. So we've got some really fun cuddle classes coming up to make some little blankets for kids and things like that. But this is your double gloss. These actually make another scarf. Look, here's another scarf. Same thing, infinity scarf. It just wraps around. So that's a quick tour of our novelty and kids department. Um, we would love to hear from you on our website. It's www.alwaysinstitches1.com. You can also call us 317-776-4227. I was like, please don't ask me. I don't know. Don't, I know. Well, I was going to give you my cell phone. Please don't call my cell phone. Don't get any closer to that snake, though. I know. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, aren't those fun? Look how cute that is. Look at the hippo. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo. Is that cute? I think it's a hippo. Yes, Heather Hippo. Okay. So anyway, that's that's the fun we have in here. Thanks for coming and watching us this morning. Um, 
we're trying to do these about every other day at least, so we hope to see you soon. Happy stitching! <laughs>